Howdy all of you cool cats and kittens out there and welcome to Joe Ross drawing unhappy little trees otherwise known as caricature mug shots from people who have found themselves in quite the pickle an unfortunate situation for possibly one reason or another I'm also wearing my county jail apron where possibly some of the individuals we may draw in this series might actually find themselves right now unless they found a way to make bond and bond can be made numerous different ways whether of one's own reconnaissance simply needing a signature to be released possibly a cash money or property bond or possibly some sort of a working or cooperation bond could be what the times call for we've got a few different mug shots to look at here and try to find the perfect one to poke a little fun at and try to draw a cartoon portrait of so let's look at those together now starting first with this individual uh, misproportioned eyes but not every face is perfect and in fact every face is unique this man actually has two completely different shaped eyeballs quite interesting ah and then there's this one right here actually an individual I serve time with not surprised to see him locked up again and then this unique looking individual right here potentially giving a long neck a run for his money not only is this individual's neck quite long sort of looking like a happy little tree trunk he also kind of looks photoshopped into this background I'm not quite sure what to make of all of that. And then there's this one here, which just might take the cake. This is a quite mean looking individual with some very unique features that I think might do well trying to turn a caricature out of this mugshot. Beady little eyes and some very sharp features down around the jaw and chin area. And unfortunately locked up for a second offense possession of marijuana which here in the state of Virginia actually borderline becomes legal on July the 10th and in fact if caught with the devil's lettuce it will then become a civil penalty of $25 after July the 10th and with that I think we found our first mugshot to try to draw a caricature of this unfortunate fella possibly sitting in county jail right now for something that in two months will pretty much be legal sorry had to jack up the stand to better suit our over-the-shoulder camera that's going to capture everything we're doing on the canvas does bob ross really whisper this much we've got our trusty pencil so let's go ahead and put graphite to paper and see what kind of magic we can make happen together ah yo it is hard to talk like this guy i should have done this like touch him two times tommy so uh yeah touch up to that Tommy here and uh not really the Bob Ross uh, look-alike uh, maybe the hair I don't know but uh we're gonna draw the mugshot caricatures right now and uh beginning with this unfortunate fella here such a sad case locked up for something that in two months not one time not three times but in two months two times uh will potentially be legal so let's go ahead and begin shaping our subject uh, this individual has quite the protruding top half of his head so we're just gonna work that into the canvas right there then coming down to the jawline ah uh, just like so and this doesn't have to be perfect this is only the pencil and with a pencil as you all may imagine we can erase so we're working the features right there making sure to leave an exuberant amount of room for his ears Again, such a sharp jawline. I think we're gonna over exaggerate that quite a little bit. Ah, there we go. There's a very distinguished jawline. Now this individual has some happy little trees all over his face in the form of a beard. So we don't wanna forget to include that. We'll do that a little later. It doesn't really appear this individual has much of a neck. So we'll just go ahead and Put a little put a little baby neck right there and some very acute shoulders just like so 
and looks like he possibly got awakened to be arrested, still wearing nothing but the wife beater. Make sure to include that just like that. Now let's go back up to the face and work in these features, starting with the nose. A very basic nose, just like so. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just go ahead and point that up just a little bit like so. The eyebrows of this individual indicate the look of absolute anger, ire, if I will. So we really want to make sure that we capture those. Let's go ahead and make sure that those are put in to really indicate the level of frustration this guy must be feeling being locked up for something as silly and simple as the devil's lettuce. We'll work those in right there. Now, we'll probably go ahead and make the head just a little bit bigger. There we go. Nice. And at this point, we can exaggerate, make believe, if you will, certain features. Let's go ahead and get those ears on the canvas. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. So again, the ears, they blow way out there. There we go. And this is a caricature. So in a certain regard, we're making a cartoon image. Ah, uh, those are some happy little ears right there. I'm sure through most of his life, he was made fun of for these ears. Another one blown out right there. Now, before we put the eyes in, let's work on the mouth. Uh, not much to the mouth, kind of a scowl look, a skull. I'm not sure how to say that. Kind of a pretty mad look. Anytime that you're getting arrested, you would be mad too. And there we go. Yes, no smiles in this picture. Not in a mugshot. If you're smiling in a mugshot, you're probably crazy or still high. Now for the eyes, not much to those. We'll just shape those in right there. Pretty basic eyes, pretty basic. Ah, there we go. Now we will shape in the, the beard right like that. And this individual has lost quite a bit of hair. So we'll make sure that we just put a little bit right there. Make sure we know that those eyebrows are gonna be very, very mean eyebrows. Then a little, little line for the nose right there. Very nice. Now, I know this looks not that great, but let's see if we can sharpen this up with a Sharpie. So basically, all we've done here is just begin to work the image into the canvas. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's why you're using the pencil to begin this. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. All right. We've got our trusty Sharpie. Let's see if we can clean up this image. Just a little bit. those eyebrows. Definitely not happy to be here.
I think we captured the ears almost perfectly. I am curious to know whether this guy is still locked up with the current state of everything going on in the world. It does make you wonder. Now let's take our trusty eraser and get rid of those pencil lines. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at how that just comes together, looking so much more clean. So much more clean. Folks, I hope you won't pay too much mind to how unclean my lines are. It's been a fair amount of time since I've last drawn anything. But I think we didn't do too bad on this. I think we did pretty okay. Almost perfect, if I do say so myself. Now, while looking at this, you may wonder to yourself or think, Joe Ross, that looks like shit. But fear not. I thought about what to do next in this series. Do we color? Add a little color to make the image really pop. Actually, a little technique that I used to use while drawing caricatures while in prison. If I missed the mark in any way, usually color helped hide that. I also just realized I forgot to add the receding hairline, but we'll get to that in just a moment. So I think what we'll do next is instead of adding color to this image, we're going to highlight this with some more pencil and in fact use different shades of graphite, different tones, to help really make this image look a lot better. Ah, yes. I've got two different graphite pencils right here that we're gonna use to add some shades and highlights. Just using our finger to help solidify that a little bit better. There we go. You could use a shading bar or a shading stick. We probably have one of those somewhere, but I've got no idea where it's at. Ah, uh, yes. You might ask yourself, Joe, didn't we just erase all of the pencil lines and now we're putting them right back in? We are. Let's get a little color going for the beard area. And the stash, there we go. Uh, that's a nice, happy-looking little tree right there. Ah, yes. And now we'll just brush that in real nice, just like so. to the lips. Ah, uh, yes. I think that really helps to capture that scowl look. I'm not supposed to be here. Definitely want to add a lot of contrast. 
nose area. There we go. Now for the eyebrows. Ah, uh, yes. Let's make those nice and dark. Nice and dark. Take our finger and get some of that going right there. Nice. Now for the hair. Uh, see how we were able to just make that work? That's almost perfect. Very nice, very nice. Sometimes you gotta work that finger just a little harder. And we are almost done. I wanna know, do you guys think we did okay or does it still look horrible? It's beautiful. And voila, a nice little happy or unhappy caricature mug shot. Folks, this is our first installment of Joe Ross drawing caricature mug shots. And though I'm not 100% satisfied with the final product, I do think this was either really awesome or absolutely cringe. I'll be curious to know what all of you think about this latest series would you like to see more if so please smash that like button and also leave a comment letting me know exactly what you think of our very first caricature mugshot who else would you like to see me draw and with that i bid you farewell and happy drawing stay out of jail okay good oh my head is sweating yeah, folks, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I had a hard time really trying to capture that Bob Ross whispery ASMR type of a voice, but I tried. Hopefully I'll get better, just like with these caricatures. I haven't drawn in a long time, and though this might be a little bit off the mark, I do hope you enjoyed this. This is something that I'm looking forward to turning into a new series, and if you did, or if there's anything we could change about it, maybe leave out the whole Bob Ross cringe voice. And just draw these caricatures and have some decent conversation about these mug shots and these people's potential situations. But regardless, I'll look forward to hearing from you guys. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace!